It was late February. Liverpool was littered with the ephemera of the season. Battered flowers, empty chocolate boxes, a divorce settlement paper drifted on the breath of new opportunities. It is in this quagmire of lust and broken hearts that our sorry tale begins. We'll say we have a homicide chief, a woman. His name was Cooper, my second in command. With Lawson's early retirement, Hedgley's suicide, and Robertson's secret stash of child pornography, Cooper was the best we've got. Cause of death? Lamp. Who was she? Her name was Tina Lee, age 34, originally from Paris. Our occupation, unknown. She was a sorry sight. Her body twisted away at an unnatural angle. Her hair was flecked with blood. Her clothes appeared designer, but were clever forgeries. Then I remembered Tina Lee. I wish she had refused. The night started innocently. Drinks and a meal, and talking about everything. Politics, high art, literature, the large stash of confiscated narcotics at headquarters, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Next thing I remember, the lamp, the blood, her silent face, the pumping blankness in the morning. My worst nightmare. Big Tony, the notorious crime boss. What is she doing here? And why is she speaking in such a peculiar accent? I scarcely listened as Cooper asked the questions and Tony fed him lies. She played the concerned citizen, breaking down whenever the attack was mentioned. What game was being played? I needed to speak to her alone. Cooper, could you get Miss Gittenby a glass of water? A knowing smile spread across her face like a cat spreads its claws. Well, what? You are in trouble now. Surely Tony couldn't know what I did. I don't know what you're talking about. Hedgley, even Robertson, and Big Tony took them out. Her smile confirmed my suspicions. But why waste this opportunity? Why kill a good friend when he can come and work for me? Tony, those days are over. Nipples! Could I do it? Cooper was innocent. Maybe I should own up to my crimes. The door was left ajar. What I saw, who I saw, shocked me to the core. I had to do it now or else lose everything. Who did you see? Was 
that a half-smile on Tony's facade? The reason I have felt so unsafe here... The reason I have struggled to talk... He hesitated. Did he know? The face I saw... Is in this room! Surely you are mistaken. A wicked smile crossed Tony's face. Has your partner shown you all the evidence? Chief, what were the DNA results? It was inconclusive. Have a drink. What were the DNA results, Chief? It's nonsense. Relax. Have a drink, Cooper. Why won't you tell me? Tony was enjoying this. She had won. One way or another, her enemies would disappear. Tell me now! I killed the woman! No! Cooper was shaking. He was a puppy kicked by his master. I deeply regret what happened next. That look. Innocence shattered. Liverpool was a den of crimes that went unsolved as the police were as corrupt as the rest. It is in this quagmire of sin and broken promises that our sorry tale meets its end. <laughs>